Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to do a breakdown of the shooting that took place in Cincinnati last week that left three people dead and two others wounded. On Thursday, September 6th at 9 a.m., a 29-year-old a gunman walked into the 5th 3rd building in downtown Cincinnati and indiscriminately opened fire on anyone who was moving inside of the lobby. The gunman was carrying a Taurus PT-809 9mm handgun with 250 rounds of ammunition inside of a briefcase. He managed to crank off 35 rounds of 9mm before the Cincinnati Police Department put an end to his rampage. Police arrived on scene and confronted the gunman approximately 55 seconds after the first call for 911 came in. The officers who were on scene were Officer Jennifer Chilton, Gregory Toyez, Antonio Eder, and Eric Kaminsky. Some very detailed body camera footage was captured by two of the officers who were on scene. The first officer to see the gunman crosses to better cover in the direction the gunman is walking, fires one shot through the door at the suspect, who turns around and runs right into the fire of the other three officers who are retaining their cover at the bottom of the stairs. There is no audio on this body camera angle until after they push the suspect's off button. Put your hands up! As soon as the suspect comes into view for the female officer whose body camera we're watching, she fires several shots in quick succession. The male officer with the long gun fires one shot, and I'm guessing his magazine wasn't properly seated because it pops out and you can hear it hit the ground, so he switches to his secondary weapon. The officer to his right steps in and puts a few bullets downrange also. It's kind of hard to see what happened in two seconds, but if you look through the window that they're shooting at, you can see a white blob. That's the gunman on the other side wearing a white shirt. When you put that magazine in, remember to give it an extra tap. It could save your life. And if we put all three camera angles together, we get... Amazing job by these four officers running towards gunfire. Had they not arrived so quickly on scene, there's no telling how many more people could have been killed. Reports are stating that the shooter probably planned on using all 250 rounds and killing as many people as he could. Authorities are saying that the motive of the shooting is still unclear. He didn't work there. No one that he shot knew him, but I think it has a lot to do with mental illness. The gunman's family tried to have him committed twice because according to them, he was violent and mentally ill. The three men who died during the attack were 25-year-old Prudvi Kendall. 48-year-old Louis Calderon, and 64-year-old Richard Newcomer. Two other people were hospitalized during the attack, including 37-year-old Whitney Austin, a mother of two. Mrs. Austin was shot 12 times when she walked into the lobby directly after the gunman started his rampage. Once the shooter was put down, two officers rushed her to safety, started administering first aid, and she was released from the hospital on Tuesday after spending six days there. Everyone, that is all I have for today. As I said in my video earlier today, I'm probably going to start putting one shooting per video just just so it's easier to catalog and find. Also, I don't know how the hell these manual reviewers work or judge what's monetized or demonetized, so it might be a way for me to actually get ads on a video every once in a while. As soon as you see this video dropped, I'm gonna be streaming over twitch.tv slash donut operator. We're gonna be talking about crime stuff, memes, whatever you guys wanna see. Since I'm living in South Carolina, depending on how the hurricane treats my internet service and my power this week, I don't know how many videos or how many streams I'm going to be doing, but I will be doing, if I can, a members 
only stream sometime this weekend. So if you see the little join button beside the subscribe button, you can hit that and you can come to the members only stream. I will be announcing the times for that at least a day ahead, as I said, depending on what this hurricane is going to do. Everyone, this is Donut. Please have a fantastic day and please stay safe from this hurricane. If you are required to evacuate, then please fucking evacuate. Don't, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Have a fantastic day.